And we begin at 6.02 with the very latest on the recent mosquito threats. The Massachusetts Department of Public Health has confirmed that a third person has died from Tripoli. That person, one of the 10 known cases in the Bay State. Now in Rhode Island, there have been three known human cases. One has been fatal. Alexander Leslie joining us now with details on the latest death in Massachusetts. Well, as of right now, details on that are still limited this morning. State officials only confirming that a third person died, not their age or where they were from in the state. This news comes just days after a Freetown man died from the disease. Now, the state's first victim was a woman in Fairhaven who died last month. In Massachusetts, health officials said this year is the worst outbreak of Tripoli in the state since the 1950s. We spoke to a Massachusetts woman whose uncle died from Tripoli in 2011. Martin Newfield was 80 years old and well known in the Raynham Youth Sports Community. Since his death, Terry Newfield has been educating others about the risks of Tripoli and how to take precautions around your home or with bug spray. She's hoping her Uncle Martin's story can help save your life. We did not expect him to be bitten by a mosquito and eventually have his life taken from that. So it was something that we were, it was unexpected. Um, the symptoms had come on unexpectedly and nobody thought to think uh, you know, hey, let's check for Tripoli unless until we got to St. Elizabeth's. Meanwhile, aerial spraying is still planned for this week. Rhode Island's DEM telling us that it was delayed last night due to poor weather conditions, but it should start tonight in Massachusetts and tomorrow in Rhode Island. Reporting live in the control room this morning, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.